Hi, Laura Davis Taylor, DSF Live. We are live on the floor at Infocom, and I'm here with Sue Armstrong from Comkey. And we're talking about a really interesting new ecosystem play right now. And actually, this is going to be AUO, Intel, and Comkey come together, and we're talking about SDM displays. Yes. And this has been a complex thing, hasn't it? Well, it really, yeah, it really has. Uh, excuse me. It's, it's, it, it's, we're excited about it. I mean, we really you hear the words game changer used a lot in the industry, but we really think that this uh, smart display module, SDM, as you're going to know this, is going to roll off your tongue in the future, is really a game changer within the digital signage market. And why is it a game changer? It's a game changer because for years and years, the digital signage market has been dealing with uh, media players which are outside of the screen. And when they wanted to bring it into the screen, there's been some challenges. Uh, there's been challenges that it's been bulky with, uh, with uh, OPS, OPS uh, players running into the screen. It's also been a challenge with SOC. SOC has a lot of advantages of being slim profile, being integrated into the module, and being easy to install. However, it has very big, big disadvantages in that it, it doesn't have a lot of power to drive sophisticated digital signage. It can't drive IoT, it can't drive analytics, uh, and if the chipset or the, uh, the player goes down in the screen, guess what? You have to replace the screen. Those are big, big trade-offs. So, what is the answer? SDM, we think, is the answer, and that is a board, which is an Intel chipset, uh, and that can fit right into a slot, integrated into an SDM-ready uh, screen, to be able to drive any level of digital signage. So the chipset can be a lower end chipset uh, with a lower price point for simple straightforward digital signage or it can be an i7. It can be a higher end chipset that really drives sophisticated digital signage or video walls or all kinds of things. So there really is no limits and immense level of flexibility relative to SDM. You can tell I'm not excited about this at all. Uh, <laughs> it really is a great, great application. So I'm hearing the word flexibility in my mind right now. Yes. Yes. So when you're able to do something like this, you can choose how much power you need to give it, right? That's exactly right. I can imagine that this probably really helps with cost and the ability to scale this. Is that yeah, true? It really does. And think about an application where the client wants to future-proof the, uh, their, their application. They say, you know, right now we're more cost conscious. We really want to deliver digital signage, but we're going to do it with, uh, we don't need a, a robust media player to do it. That's fine. You can get an SCM card that is a lower cost workhorse product, pop it in, and then they say, you know what? We don't want to buy another screen. We don't want to, can we just pop this out and put a higher end media uh, SCM card in there? Absolutely. Now we've got a, a, a command center for, S, uh, for uh, uh, IoT. We, have, uh, we can run analytics off of this platform. So they can upgrade without having to change out their CMS, their content management system, or their screen by simply popping out the SDM card and popping in a new higher end card. Imagine cars did that. <laughs> Wouldn't that, would that be, be nice. great? I could pop out that engine. <laughs> just get this you know? great body of a car and I can just yeah. change out the engine yeah, when I, I I would like to do that with myself <laughs> physically actually. <Yeah>. Just, <laughs> pop out this brain and upgrade it. But but this is a big <laughs> thing though, and, and as that industry consultant, it's been a lot of years where someone gets a bonus for hiring or getting the right ecosystem in, but then they get in trouble years later when it can't flex because all these things happen with the industry and all of a sudden you need a Ferrari running in your, you know, you know Kia Sophia, right. you know? And, and especially with analytics, let's talk about that. Well, it, analytics is a big thing because everybody wants analytics, they're just not how, sure how they're going to get there. And a lot of the analytics comes from systems that are listening to the environment. So a plug for, for CompKey and Engage, many CMSs can speak to the environment, 
but engage actually listens to the environment. What does that mean? It means we can put peripherals out there, IoT, uh, uh, we can have uh, RFID, we can have connection POS and inventory systems and product information management systems. We can listen to the, to the consumer around their mobile phone if they opt in. All of those things can be available so we can offer relevance of messaging. Once we're listening and we're offering relevance of messaging, then hopefully we're in a retail environment, we're converting to higher sales, we're driving whatever the initiative is for that, and now we can measure it, measure it with analytics. How are people moving through the store? How many people are dwelling? How many people are, are in a certain area? How many people are in checkout? How many people are abandoning their shopping? in checkout. All of these things we can begin to analyze by listening to the environment and offering messaging to change that environment. That takes a more robust system. So yes, I start out simple and I can upgrade to a more robust system through SDM. So we did a presentation today talking about the importance of behavioral analytics for retail and maximizing your digital signage. We're almost talking about Doppler radar for the environment, right? Oh, I love that, that's great. Isn't that good? You're yeah, so yeah. smart. Yeah. <laughs> it's so true though. And the other things we sometimes talk about is thinking about the environments, these it could be stores or whatever else, it's a physical website. Yeah. And, and the point we were making is all marketing, and this is marketing, it's also operational, it's everything else, but all of this will lead to being digitally based and data based. With data, with digital, you can measure. And if you can measure, you can optimize. You can make sure that what you're doing is That's on right. point. And you take risk and opinion completely out of the equation, don't you? Yeah, you, you really you, do. You really do because you can you can move that out of that and you can look at really what's working, what's not, and then course correct. What messages are working? What placements working? What what initiatives are working? And then change that. What what inventory is working? Uh, and change that. So yeah, it gives you the ability. I love the Doppler radar. You can know where where it's clear, where it's stormy, where the storm's going to happen, and you can start to have some predictive modeling uh, and prescribe changes before they to optimize the environment. So that's that's great. So. You, be, you have to do that through utilizing the right technology and being smart about that. So that's why, again, we come back to the fact that we think that SDM as a technology is a real game changer in this space. I think what we can do is maybe talk about the technology itself and show it. Okay. What do you think? Yep. Okay. We could have gone on.